Hello everyone, this is Joe. It's another after the golden hour recording. So you'll see that there isn't a lot of light here, but hopefully you'll bear with me. <sighs> Today, it's about anticipation. I'm anticipating a great rain. As you can see down here, I've rigged up a pretty sweet shelter tarping over my little tent to uh, keep good in what could be some high winds and a bit of rain and uh, feeling very safe and secure in what I've created. Um, that's life. I've created this amazing lifestyle for myself and I feel safe and secure within it. Uh, I'm not sure all people would, but I do. Also, You know, I feel good about where I am and what I'm doing and what's coming next. I feel safe and secure to be able to handle what storms come. And I know I can handle it. Other people may not, might not get what I do or think that it's possible or think that they could do it. But that's just because they haven't tried. I know that I can do anything that I set my mind to long enough. And uh, this, traveling all over the country, living in the woods, having a great time while I do it, this has taught me a lot. And uh, as I'm hunkering down here for the night to uh, have a very dry and uh, relaxing evening, I know that I've built up the skills to handle this, and it's a, it's a no-brainer. I know what to do. I've got it all done ahead of time, you know, before the rain starts. So, I say this to you guys a lot, but I really want you to have that confidence or have that, hmm, self-belief, it's, it's more than that, to have this in yourself of victory. I've achieved victory, so it's easy for me to say it, but I want you guys to feel and know that you are victorious, no matter what stage you are in your journey, you know? It's hard to talk about because my emotions keep welling up. I could blame it on the storm, but it isn't. It's really me. It's me hunkering down and being safe down here on the southern end of my trip, taking a few weeks to just stay in one place and relax. And I know I'm headed north. I know I'm headed to new adventures. I know I'm headed to new challenges. And that I'm going to want to try and do things that I've never done before. So it's, it's nice to sit here in some comfort, knowing that it won't last long, knowing that my love of Tallahassee and Athens and Asheville, my love of my family, all those things will naturally draw me north. I don't have to try, I don't have to push. I don't have to look for challenges. I don't have to create challenges. Certain things may arise, you know, my emotions get the better of me if I uh, haven't flushed out every piece of them yet. Um, but I'm doing a much better job of just being happy every day and uh, not needing to experience challenges and frustrations. Doing what I'm doing right now might seem to someone a challenge, but to me it just seems like business is, as usual. You know, spending the night, you know, with a tornado watch going on in a tent in the woods. Yeah, you know, I'm fine with it. I know everything's going to be okay. I know that I've got myself battened down, got my hatches battened down as well as, as well as I possibly could. Um, just about as well as anybody could here in the woods. So I'm expecting to have a wonderful time to have a great experience. 
And like I said, people might think this is hard, but it isn't. I, uh, I think people look at things backwards. For example, I used to drink quite a bit until it was starting to become a problem and then I stopped. Um, not immediately, I had a little bit of uh, trouble with it. I, I cut back a couple times and then finally had to cut it off entirely. But uh, I didn't struggle with the decision. I didn't struggle back and forth with drinking and not drinking and drinking and not drinking. You know, I just kind of tapered back and tapered back and tapering back wasn't enough. So I had to cut it off entirely. And when I did, I did and I didn't look back. So for you guys, I'd like you to know if I can speak beyond the emotions that are welling up. Um, maybe it is something to do with the rain. Maybe I manifest the rain when it's time to feel low and flush out emotions. I don't know. But anyway, just like quitting drinking, a lot of people tell me, hey, that must have been really difficult for you. That's We're proud of you. You did this difficult thing. And I said, no, it's much more difficult when you're still doing it, but you know you should stop. Once you've stopped and you just stop, you don't go back to it, you're just done with it. It's very easy and simple. That's not difficult at all. And that's why I say people have things backwards. When you look at your problems, the suffering isn't getting free of them. The suffering is now having them with you. When you free them, you'll be simple and easy and moving on to something else. So, the trick is awareness. Of all the things I've read about quitting drinking and smoking, which was actually harder than drinking. Quitting smoking is quite a challenge. Uh, nicotine being as addictive as it is. And uh, when I was reading up to try to deal with smoking, I... Uh, found something that worked for me. They said, be aware. Don't try to stop doing it. When you find yourself pulling out a cigarette and smoking it, don't try to stop yourself. Don't try to fight it. Just do it, but notice all the details. Notice all the little habits you have ingrained with it. Notice all of the uh, bad feelings. Notice all of the bad taste or bad smell or the uh, feel of it in your body. Um, I think that's really important. Get to know with awareness the problem that you're, you're trying to solve. Um, I should say with smoking, what helped after gaining awareness and watching myself and observing myself smoking, I began to smoke part of one and then throw it out. I would typically be driving my car so I just you know put it out the window and then if I wanted to smoke another one I'd have to start a fresh one making it a little more expensive to smoke <laughs> uh, but I could do it if I wanted to but that was a way for me to say I don't have to finish this thing because I started I started this thing and it's not good for me and I've smoked it down a bit but I don't have to finish it and doing that somehow really set me free. That act of being halfway through a cigarette and saying, I don't need any more of this, is like halfway between smoking and not. You know, there's half a cigarette I smoked, but half a cigarette I didn't. And so it's kind of a midway point that I really found useful. So when you're weeding out bad habits, awareness, just awareness, and... Uh, middle steps where you accept the part of you that wants to do the bad habit but then you stop once the desire to stop wells up in you even if you're halfway through that habit and uh, it takes away the all or nothingness of it it keeps your desire genuine just as I've said about having habits of exercise or meditation or recording these videos and everything 
kind of creates a falseness uh, that I was beginning to resent. And now, as you can see, I'm recording. It's been over 10 minutes of this recording. Just because I wanted to. Just because I had something to say to you guys. Uh, just because I wanted to reach out to you guys. I think I see an armadillo. I love those little guys. So, anyway, it's getting pretty dark. You certainly can't see anything on my screen, even though I can still see uh, out here in the world. It's not quite as dark as it looks on the, on the video. So I, uh, look, I'm looking forward to a spectacular night of wind and rain and excitement, uh, tucked in nice and dry in my uh, wonderful shelter, and tucked in into this area I'm staying for a while of comfort, and then moving back north for new adventures and uh, new encounters and rendezvous with people who've been, uh, I shouldn't say who've been waiting, but people who are lined up to meet with me at the perfect time for both of us. That's what I mean to say. So, you guys take it easy. Uh, be kind to yourself. Allow your nat natural desires to do good things to come up. Don't push yourself, but allow yourself to let go when it's time and move on to something new. Find a nice, caring, wonderful balance and uh, I hope that all of you will feel the same love that I'm feeling right now. So it's dark and I'm going to let you go but I appreciate you listening and uh, sharing your time with me. This is uh, the Golden Hour show with Joe Neely, me. Uh, come to the website at joeneely.net slash golden hour or you can, uh, as I always say, subscribe here on YouTube or leave comments to uh, increase our engagement with each other. I love you all very much. Have a wonderful night.